good day everyone and welcome to my tutorials this is the best fashion tutorials if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back if you're a new subscriber i will urge you to subscribe to our channel so today uh, i will be teaching you how to draft a double breasted waist coat a double breasted waist coat with a Tuxedo lapel. So let's get right into it. So, first thing you draw a vertical and a horizontal line before you start your drafting. So, the measurement we'll be using for this tutorials is our length is 26. So, let's mark out our 26 inches. Twenty six inches, we rule a straight line. Then, um, our for our lapel will be given three inches, depending on how wide you want it to be. You can use three, you can use two and a half. Let me use two point five. Depending on how wide, this one is not constant, so if you want your lapel to be big enough, you can make it 3 inches. If you want it to be just regular, you can use 2.5. Then I rule a straight line. Then... We, we mark 2.5 so marking two and a half for our uh, overlap for the breasted allowance with the straight line So now all our measurements that will be taken will be taken from this line, not from the main line, because this is our lapel allowance. Then this is our double breasted allowance. So our draftings will start from this point. So first thing, we remove our neck. Our neck for this tutorial will be using three inches. Three inches. Then the length. The length is your chest divided by four plus one inch. The length of your of the opening, though it depends on what you want, it depends on how how close you want it to be or how open you want it to be. But for mine, I'll be using eleven inches because my chest is forty, so this is eleven inches. This is eleven inches. So I connect it to this line. Then um, my shoulder, my shoulder is 16 inches and just a quick reminder, your shoulder for your waist coat and your shoulder for your suit, uh, regular native is not the same because your waist coat shoulder should be less, should be less than your actual shoulder by 3 inches. So my actual shoulder is 20 but for my waistcoat I'll be using 16 so 16 inches then you take down 2 inches for your shoulder slant you rule a straight line so I mark out my shoulder This is 16 and plus half inch sewing allowance. Then my armhole, 
I'll be using 10 inches from this point. Mark your 10 inches. And this is now where we start our regular drafting from our chest. So my chest is 40 inches. This is 40 plus half inch allowance. And you take six inches below for your waistline. The waist is 36, which is nine plus half inch sewing allowance. Then on the base here, we take out two inches or 2.5 for our, for our uh, down curve or down line. So now for this waistcoat, I'll be using, I'll be making a V color, a, a V shaped uh, down because there are different types of down. Some can do C curve, some is straight. But this one I'll be using a V shape, which is the regular one. So at this point, I take out 2.5 inches for my slant. Yeah, this is now where I measure my hip. The hip of my waistcoat is still 40. So I mark my 40 and half inch, half inch for the sewing allowance. So now you connect these three lines together. Um, please note, I used my actual chest here because I'm not putting a dart on this waistcoat. Well, if I'm supposed, to, if I'm putting a dart on the waistcoat, then I'll add extra one inch for the dart allowance. I hope that is clear. I'll add extra one inch for the dart allowance. But since I don't have any dart on the waistcoat, I just used my actual chest. So now the armhole. You rule a straight line. Then you divide this by two, which is eight inches divided by two, four. Mark your four inches. Then on this four inch, you come in by one inch. So you connect the curves. So that is it for that. Then on this base, at the base here, we take out 3.5. 3.5, and we take two inches inwards from here. We do a straight line. Straight line and we'll a straight line here also to connect with the 2.5 we earlier marked. So I think we're almost getting to the end of our tutorial. Then if your waistcoat is having a pocket, you can put your pocket at 18 inches from the top. At 18 inches from the top, you can just mark your pocket line and fix your pocket there. Or 17, anyone you like. And mark, note that your waistcoat pocket is not usually big. So it, sh it shouldn't exceed 4 inches for the wideness for your waistcoat pocket. Because mostly it's usually a fancy pocket. So now, for our lapel, which is the last part of the of the tutorial, you curve it out depending on the shape you want. If you want it to go down like this, depending on what you want. But for this one, I'll be taking, I'll be making it a regular curve.
So this is how I want my cuff to be more wider downwards than it is upward. So take your time to get exactly the curve you want. When you now get it, make sure it's longer than this by two inches. You make sure it's longer by two inches so that when you fold it, it will not get short. It will not be short off. It will not be shorter than the shoulder. Because if it's cut exactly here, when I fold it, it won't give me what I want. So that is what you must note. So before you start drafting, you leave at least two inches allowance above before you draft your double breasted and uh, your tuxedo lapel waistcoat. So I think this is the end of the tutorial. I want to thank you for staying with us to the end. We want to see you next time. God bless you.